Joining me now is Ohio Senate candidate J.D. Vance. Mr. Vance, welcome to the Salcedo Show. Uh, since the GOP isn't pushing back, it looks like it's up to we the people. What do you have in mind? Ways for Americans to oppose Biden and his socialists? Yeah, there are a few things you can do to push back against these mandates right now. I think the first is that you could actually, if you're in the private sector and your employer is trying to force this on you, threaten to quit. Employees have a lot of power right now, and obviously some people can't actually take the step to quit their job, but a lot of people can. And if you're in that position, force them to force this on you. Don't just give in immediately. We've seen this in the healthcare field, in a lot of different areas of our country, that when the employees push back on these mandates, the employers start to fold. The second thing we can do is red states can actually nullify parts of these vaccine mandates. We've seen this with Ron DeSantis in Florida, who has threatened private companies and said, look, if you're going to force this on your employees, then you are going to face real repercussions and real punishments. There are a number of things that we can do. But the way that I think about this is that this mandate is fundamentally unconstitutional and against America's fundamental liberties. If we're going to give up on liberties that our forefathers, that our grandparents and parents fought for, we ought to at least give them a bit of a fight before we do it. Yeah, we've been cautioning uh, individuals and businesses, you know, what if things, because things that are even approved by the FDA go wrong down the road. And uh, the big pharma has been indemnified from any repercussions from that happening. But these businesses that are mandating that these vaccines be taken, they're not indemnified. They could be sued if, if things go wonky down the road. So they, they just better be careful. Biden, the boobs approval rating is now, what, 42 percent, according to the latest Rasmussen poll? I'm surprised it's that high, to be honest. But the biased press helps Biden, do they not, by, re by withholding reporting on his myriad disasters, like leaving our people behind in Afghanistan. What's your take on that, Mr. Vance? Yeah, I think, look, the, the press is biased, but you can only hold re hide reality for so long. The, the Biden administration is a disaster. We see this at the southern border. We see this in Afghanistan. And importantly, with a lot of voters in Ohio, we see this with inflation. People are paying more for basic goods and services, for ground beef, for dairy, for grocery items, for, for, for used cars. You cannot live a normal life in this country if all the things you rely on are constantly going up and up. And what is the Biden administration doing? Are they fixing the disastrous policies? No, they're doubling down. They're going to make this inflation crisis worse. But I think at the end of the day, what the vaccine mandates are really about are distracting from the fact that Biden's core domestic policy agenda is a disaster for working and middle class Americans. God, Republicans have got to stand up and fight back against this stuff because nobody's standing up for the middle class base of our party. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, and you know what? Mr. Biden won't mandate the vaccines for illegal aliens because he wants them to keep coming. So the administration is openly violating a Supreme Court order, not enforcing the stay in Mexico policy. How much longer do you think Americans are going to accept this double standard that they have to get the vaccine, but illegal aliens, because Biden wants illegal aliens here, they don't have to get the vaccine. And uh, Biden doesn't have to listen to Supreme Court rulings, but the Republicans must. How long do you think that that little uh, chestnut, I, I already think it's getting old. What do you think? You're definitely right. It's getting old. And of course, we have an opportunity to speak up at the ballot box next year, but we've got to survive until then. And how disgusting is it that we live in the greatest and oldest constitutional republic in the world, but illegal aliens have more liberties, they have more walking around rights, they don't ex get exposed to these mask and vaccine mandates, but American citizens have to bend the knee? This is not what our grandparents, our parents fought for. This is not the fundamental right to live your life as you choose to do it, as so many in our country fought and died for. At the end of the day, we just have to say enough. Yes, we can vote next year, and I obviously hope folks will do that and vote for me. But in the interim, we've got to fight back. We've got to get out of the streets. We've got to protest. We've got to make arguments. And we've got to, when we can, say no more to the Biden administration, which is why I think this civil disobedience in this moment is so important. J.D. Vance, great to meet you, man. Uh, come back soon. Thank you very much for being here.